All right, so we got a tour of the main house. I saved the owner suite for kind of a specialized tour. There's a bunch of things happening in the bathroom that I think are worth talking about. So I wanted to hold this off. Um, you can see we go from that beautiful hickory floor to the tile floor. We chose a two panel door to kind of, I guess, again, tie in with that country feel. Coming into the owner's bath here, notice, um, <clears throat> you know, and I had a question for Jake, I didn't realize, but the jetted tub, it actually has an outer panel and then the insert. So if it's not jetted, a lot of times, this is the first one I've ever done jetted. Most of the time when they're just the garden tub, it comes, it's one piece, you set it down and you do your thing. But because you need to prepare all of these things, it actually comes in these two pieces. So again, we have the beautiful tub. It's looking out to the backyard, the pond there. But one of the things that Aero Building and Jake did with the plumber is the plumbing there has to go to a pump, right? Because you can't have jets without having the pump. And so what they did, we have this linen closet. We have the pump in here and that PVC pipe literally runs over under my feet and connects to the PVC pipes underneath the tub there. And that allows us to remotely locate that pump and uh, still have access to it really good. So toilet in its own closet, not a whole lot of magic there. Um, <clears throat> but one of the things about the shower is we have a Dietra heating system in underneath the tile here that's a radiant electric radiant floor system. And what the guys did was they ran it over to the corner, they jumped up over the curb. So in here, the actual bench in the shower has exactly the same electric heat mat. So the minute you wake up in the morning or a timer, whatever the case is, when that goes on, your bench in your shower also warms up. We did a linear drain, it's centered. So basically the tile floor pitches to the center. Um, one of the things I like too is the door swings in both directions. A lot of times you'll put that weather stripping on one side and I don't really like the fact that you can only pull it open because when you pull it open, if the inside of the glass is all wet from a shower, it's dripping all over your floor. It's much nicer if you can get it so that the door moves in. A couple other things in the shower. Shampoo shelf. I think it's always important. This one is a full length. It's about three inches or so, just enough to put shampoo bottles on or a little soap dish here. Um, works really, really well. But one of the things that Jake pointed out is the company that does these towel bars have a fully warranted wet water management system. So basically a dowel comes out for this attachment. It's all solid blocked. It's very, very solid. But more importantly is this joint here has a warranty by that towel bar manufacturer. So um, nice double vanity, little medicine cabinet, linen closet in between. Cabinet guy did a beautiful job. You know, Liz did a beautiful job um, pulling out some of the colors and the fixtures. We should be wrapping that up really soon. Let's take a quick walk around and you'll just see how this finishes out. Again, that's the door we came in from the hallway. As we move to the bedroom, we have just the cased opening. It's a double loaded closet, not a whole lot of magic. We have, again, <clears throat> our closet finished, but we're always remembered we're out in the country by seeing those windows out there and taking in that view of the pond. It is very, very important the whole time through the design process and working with the clients Steve, we really love that view. We love the view out to the outside. It reminds us of being outside the country, the pond. We really want to capitalize on that. So we did. So even in the owner's bedroom, you can wake up every morning and your first view is out to that pond. So, and when it's filled with water and filled with fish, it makes for even a better afternoon. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. A lot of little 
tricks there. Again, arrow building, you know, finding the right architect that has a really good relationship with the builder helps kind of knit all of those strategies together really, really well. It's a, it's a joy for our office to uh, um, collaborate with Arrow Building because we're in the same mindset. We believe our, our beliefs are in alignment together. So make sure when you're putting that team together that they're working well together, not working at odds with each other. So until next time, I'm Steve Basic Architect. Long live our buildings. Hey, Steve Basic Architect. Yeah. We're still out on the Midwest project. Now, we're not gonna be talking about the house. We're gonna be talking about what's happening outside. We have probably, I think it's a little over a half an acre of driveway and roadway here. It would have been a pretty large number if we just did a typical asphalt paving. So we moved on to another solution, working with our general contractor, Aero Building and the homeowner. So what you're looking at here is, this is actually, I'll call it was road, right? This was an asphalt road. These are all the millings. When you're driving late at night and you see that grinder grinding up the highway and it's spitting it into a dump truck and the dump truck's hauling off that highway, this is what they're hauling off, these millings. And um, so rather than grind it and reconstitute it into new asphalt pavement, we actually are taking that, they're taking the skid steer, they're loading it up, and we're actually paving the half acre of roadways here with the product. <coughs> so you can see some of it installed here. This is down and it's already been compacted. Now I'm told they're gonna come over, they're gonna put a little oil over this, which will help it congeal and, and become more solid. And especially as the heat hits it, all of those things working together, it's kind of almost like a, uh, you know, instead of buying ready mix cement and you just put the cement in the hole and then you mix water with it. Well, that's kind of what we're doing here is we're putting a bunch of the ingredients from the asphalt plant out here and then we're, just letting nature kind of take its course with that little oil layer on top. But you can see it goes down in the similar paving machine that it normally would. When it goes down, it is somewhat loose. You can see how loose this is right here. This hasn't been rolled yet. So it's just a, I don't know, it's a pretty neat kind of alternative to just coming in here and doing this huge asphalt paving um, on all this property and just you know taking on that bill or being left with what was here which is that stone bed that you really can't do a whole lot with it's not comfortable to walk on um, I think this is going to provide a much better solution so anyways little alternative to paving we're out here in the country so i'm steve basic architect until next time long live our buildings